Hey guys, the objectives of today's video is to talk about the vertical settlement of single piles. So an estimate of the settlement of a pile can be obtained from a theoretical analysis based on the theory of elasticity. In general, 80% of the total displacement of a pile is considered to be elastic, and the other 20% will be due to consolidation of the soil. In this topic, we'll focus on elastic settlement. The settlement of a single floating pile is given by this following expression, where P is the applied load to the pile, L is the length of the pile, ES is the modulus of the soil, and we also have an influence factor, I, which accounts for the properties of the pile. So first we need to determine the pile stiffness factor, K, which is given by this expression here, where EP is the modulus of the pile, and RA is the ratio of the pile section and the gross area bounded by the outer circumference of the pile. So this account this this ratio can account for hollow cross sections and RA will be equal to 1 for solid piles. So in this chart here, once you have determined a value for K, you need to find the length to diameter ratio, and then you can project across horizontally to get a value for the influence factor I. When a rigid base exists at a certain depth below the floating pile, we can also apply a correction factor RH, which can be found using this chart here. So you need to find the ratio of H and L and see which horizontal axis this ratio lies within. And then project upwards to the value of L on D and then project horizontally to get a value for RH. The settlement of N bearing piles is given by this expression here, where MR is the moment ratio. MR can be found using this chart below where you need to first determine K and LD to get a value for MR. So that's it for today's video. In the next video, we'll do an example covering the settlement of single piles. Hope this helps, guys.